Houston, our instruments are showing that we have a incoming message from deep space. Repeat, Houston, we have an incoming message from deep space. Houston, we'll begin playing message now. Houston, we're going to try and translate that up here. Hold for translation. Translation complete. We'll begin playing message now. Hey, it's me, Melissa. What do you do when the aliens invade? Take a shot of Vinca Ultra and watch Melissa Jade. Put on your tinfoil hat and tune right in. We got that crime spree, flat earth theories, government conspiracies, a complex Mandela effects, unidentified optics, a mind expanding, fake moon landing, where it all fits understanding. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Aliens on the sun, or in Area 51, time travels, unravels, haunted castles, cops are baffled, potential experimental thoughts that make you transcendental. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Crab streets, flatter theories, government conspiracies, complex Mandela effects, unidentified objects of mind expanding, fake moon landing, what it all fits understanding. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Hello, everybody. Hi, Lori. Hi, Dada Badada. Hi, Snot Rocket. Melody. Legendary. How are you? Hi, Cray Cray. That Michelle. Hi, Melody. Let me see. We have Chase, Maria. Uh, Kathy says, is it weird that I get an excited little kid when I hear the music start playing? Not at all. Well, I don't think so. Hi, Pretty Bug Skylab. I do believe we are here to receive. Hi, Linda. Happy almost Thanksgiving. Hi, Laura Bean. Kim Price, one who sees. Hi, Blue. Hello, sexy wild thing, Carol freaking Claus, Foxfire. Hello, Cheryl. Misbehaven, Becky, Crime Crochet, Cafe. Hello, Amy. Lexi's, my fabulous and amazing friend Bryn created that song especially for me. I will drop his link. He is especially talented. Shout out to Bryn. He is amazing. Hi, little Red Riding Hood. Linda Lou Who. Jenny Bailey. Katrina's in the house. Let me see. Maui girl. Hi, Maui girl. Ron Swartz. We have, let me see. Gamer mom. Angel. Pointer lover. Harlot people may. We have Teresa, Cheryl, KPM. <laughs> Let me see. Hi, Destination New York. Um, Let me see. Oh, Chase. Well, welcome. We're so happy to have you here with us. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Jenny Bailey. 
Oh, is it your birthday, Claus? Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, tomorrow's your birthday? Oh, you share it with you share it with uh, Thanksgiving. Well, we're thankful for Claus up in her. All right, let me scroll all the way down to the bottom. It is Bryn, Bryn, it is Bryn singing. It is Bryn on the instruments. It is Bryn who created the song. It is Bryn with everything. Up oh, there he is. It is Bryn with everything. Hey, Allie. Yes, Samantha. You never knew that, Miss Even? Yes, it is Bryn. He is amazing. Hi, beach lover. Ah, oh, then we did our job, legendary. <laughs> awesome, Ginger. Yes, Bryn is uh, very talented. He also made my uh, trivia, my Tuesday trivia intro song. Um, most of you guys probably haven't heard it. We haven't done trivia in a bit. We were supposed to do trivia yesterday. Um, but here, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys my trivia intro that he also made. If you haven't been around for Tuesday trivias, we have, hold on, do, 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 do. We have this. Ready? Hey, let's play Trivia Tuesday with MJ. Hey, let's play Trivia Tuesday with MJ. Hey. Well, this has got questions, need some contestants. Don't know, keep guessing, but you're bound to learn a lesson. But you gotta type fast, gotta type it in the chat. It's just for fun, everyone is welcome here. Rule number one, Melissa keeps it weird. Hey, let's play Trivia Tuesday with MJ. I said, hey, let's play. Trivia Tuesday with MJ. Hey, let's play. Trivia Tuesday with MJ. Hey, it's me, Melissa. <laughs> so he made that one too. And sometimes if I don't uh, shut off my intro fast enough, you might hear the beginning of that song. Uh, so you guys may have been like, duh, 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 duh. like if you heard the drum roll, you might have heard the beginning of that song before because like I have them playing back to back. And so uh, that's my Trivia Tuesday song that Bryn also made. So he's very, very talented. And what I love about that song is it has uh, me and my friends, uh, kids actually playing uh, all of our all of our voices saying hey together. It's a compilation of us and our, our kids all saying hey at the same time. Let's play. And it's it's really cool. Either way, I love it, and uh, he's very, very talented. He's very, very talented. Um, and so shout out to Bryn. And he's a magician, so you can't get better than that. You can't get better than that. So welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you guys? So happy to have you here with me. Um, so today, we have the remainder of the phone call that we did not get to finish. You're all way too kinth. Well, thank you, Bryn. Uh, you know what? I've never been called kinth, but I appreciate it. <laughs> you are so kinth too. <laughs> um, so, ah, Stacy. He, he's, he's good. He's, he's good. Miss, uh, Miss Behaven. So, Hey, Amber, we have the remainder of the phone call with Letitia, but 
you guys know I, I pulled down and I rearranged some episodes when redoing uh, my channel. So there was just a couple of documents that I wanted to go through um, that may have been pulled down in the prior episodes. Maybe you weren't around from the beginning of this series that you might not have seen it. Um, maybe you were. Either way, I just wanted to go through a couple um, just so that they are up again. Um, and so one of the things I wanted to go through, if you remember, there was an episode where a member had come in and this member was talking to Letitia via, hi, Stephanie Morrison. Um, this member was talking to Letitia. Hi, Clicker. Talking to Letitia. So now inmates have these texting apps. You could actually text um with like your favorite inmate um on these devices um and this this goes throughout di all different prisons um and so she had come in and she said hey you know like listen i want you know i i have these communications with leticia and if you're interested I could send you them. And so I was like, sure, let, let's, let's go through them. And so as you can see, when she took the screenshot, you could see she was even watching my live in real time. That's my live up there. Um, and so these had been pulled down in one of the episodes I took down. So I just wanted to go through them real quick, uh, just so that they, they exist somewhere. Um, and, uh, they're, they're interesting actually. Um, Playing the the fishman in oh yes absolutely Stacy absolutely absolutely um and so if you were not here like I said this was a member who was utilizing one of the apps to text with Letitia this occurred on October 9th the start of this texting so you download the app and you put money on and you can pay and you just literally pick out which inmate you want to text and it's up to the inmate to respond or not. I guess you can add money to their account if you want or not. I, I really don't know, but these messages already were exchanged prior to the member coming to my channel. And so she was just, she just sent me what was already exchanged between them. But it was kind of the ending that I found a little bit interesting. So I wanted to go through them with you guys. I know, Bryn. <laughs> Hi, Tess. You too, Eric. <clears throat> so it starts with, this is the member, okay? To the right where it says you, that's the member. To the left, Letitia is obviously Letitia. So it says, hey, Stauk, how are you holding up? Been so worried about you, but I don't use social media too much. If you need something, please reach out. And it sent doubled. Letitia says, I don't recognize this name. <laughs> and then the person responds, you wouldn't. I don't do social media. I added 10 to your account. Now, the member told us how she didn't intentionally add $10 to Letitia's account. She just didn't know how to navigate the app. So she accidentally added $10 to her account, but she just used it to her advantage. So she accidentally added $10 to Letitia's account. And I think it costs like 25 cents per message or something like that. Now, what we do know, though, guys, is that there is a mole. There is somebody who watches our lives. Hey, Mars. Um, and does report back to Letitia. That's sad, but okay. So it says you wouldn't. I don't do social media. I added 10 to your account. Letitia says... 
not many people don't do social media. Then how did you find me on this page, LOL? Touche, Letitia. If you don't do social media, then how did you find me? Touche. So you're not that stupid, Letitia. The member says, I followed the trial. I also follow Reddit. That's how I found this app. I have social media before, just not someone who's always on it is all I meant. I work a lot. Letitia says, I see. It's definitely used in negative ways, but it's all about whether we care to entertain it or not. The member responds, yes, I agree. I definitely don't, LOL. Can I ask, how have you been holding up? Can't imagine how frustrating this must all be. Letitia responds, I'm good. I stay busy with stuff or I'm watching my TV or on the tablet. Girl, I don't worry about the crazies. I focus on God and do my thing. Oh, do you? Oh, do you, Tisha? Do you? You have a lot to make right with God. And listen, it's not my place that that's between you and God or whoever you believe in. But I imagine that you have a right, uh, like a lot, a lot to repent for. Okay? You have a lot to make right. The member responds, oh, so you guys have personal TVs and stuff? I did a small stint for a few weeks for some weed when I was a kid, LOL. They didn't have any of that stuff. Crazy. Yeah, I am not religious, but I am very spiritual and I do believe in God. A lot of people are crazy and they think they know everything. What kind of shows are you into? Maybe you can recommend one for when I actually have a second to watch TV. So again, she's in Disneyland, okay? She has access to tablets, mini TVs. I remember I was shocked when this, the first time I really had an idea of how easy inmates had it was when I had a walkthrough of Jody Ari Arias's cell, which we're going to be doing the Jody Arias uh, deep dive with Shea Benet and Meat Foot, which I'm really excited for. Um, but I don't think she should have the privileges that she has, but that's just me. And the same way, like everything in the world, prison is just about money. You know, it's about making money. <clears throat> and so for the right price, you could buy this, you can buy that and this and that. It's just about money. Hi, Booberry. That's for you and yours. Oh, well, I have to kind of cancel Thanksgiving. The, the Rona got me, so I'm going to be stuck at home doing nothing. I'll probably just come on and do a, a live with you guys. But uh, thank you. Seriously, I hope you have a wonderful time with your family. So then Letitia says, I mostly watch ESPN, MTV, A&E, and the ABC and CBS stuff. Whatever is on, but mostly sports since it's baseball playoffs, WNBA playoffs, and of course, football. Hi, Artees, Mia. Yeah, girl, we have cable on our TVs. Plus air channels from satellite, movies on the tablet, and movies on a big screen on movie night. C 
Carios, Musical Freedom, Recovery, Fundraisers for Outside Food Places, Walmart Fundraisers for Hygiene. It's basically where they raise money and you buy stuff from Walmart. Bitch, you need that. You need, everybody knows you need hygiene. Just saying. Candy fundraisers. You can sign up for yard crew and be outside most of the day. We have go-kart where you buy all the. Where you buy all the good foods like fruits and veggies, yogurt, outside sandwiches. And you could always start any activity you like as long as two or more people sign up. Prisons promote rehabilitation in this part of the country. It was the same in Co. It's Prisneyland. Oh, oh Boo Berry, I would love that. You, you're so sweet. Yeah, me too, Kimberly. It sucks. It does suck. Right, September? I'm really disappointed, guys. I, Thanksgiving's my favorite food holiday, and I'm I'm really upset. I'm not gonna lie. I like I wait all year for that meal, and now I don't get it. <laughs> so I'm I'm disappointed. Seems like Tisha's gonna have a better Thanksgiving than me, <laughs> but things could be worse. Things could be worse. Um. No, <laughs> I don't think so. It's okay. <clears throat> but, yeah, I, you know, just the fact that she uses Prisneyland. Thanks, guys. Just the fact that she uses Prisneyland to refer to where she is. <laughs> oh, Tiados. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Is It's infuriating. Just somebody send me, you know, like those jumbo turkey legs. <laughs> somebody Amazon Prime me a jumbo turkey leg. Will ya? You know, you know, like <laughs> actually, don't they sell those at Disney too? Like they, like you know, like the jumbo. Like it's like the it's like the size of your actual leg, <laughs> like a big ass turkey leg. You could just you could just DoorDash me that. That would be great and smother it. And gravy on top of it. Okay. <laughs> that would be great. Thanks. <laughs> um, so. It, I don't know. Just even the fact that she. And she used Prisneyland. Not just in these messages. Because Alex Erickson. Showed her messages also. Which Letitia used Prisneyland. To refer to it as. Um, <laughs> Katrina. <laughs> thank you. Five dollars towards the turkey leg fund. Thank you so much, <laughs> dude. Those turkey legs are expensive. The only place I saw that would have them actually was the carnival. The carnivals would have them other than Disneyland, and they charge like twelve dollars for that leg. <laughs> but thank you. I've never been to the Renaissance Fair, Richie, but I'd love to go. Yeah, Michelle, the Rona got me. The Rona got me. Um, ooh, that sounds so, ah, oh, that sounds so yummy. It has yum. Oh, yes, Jay. She forgot to say she's having to pay restitution to her victims in court. She will be the poorest liar there. Do they have them at the... Stop it, T. Adams. They have jumbo turkey legs at the gas station. <laughs> God. Oh, that's too funny. We have hot dogs here at the gas station. That's about it. Thank you, Mrs. Mom. Turkey leg fun. Woohoo! Thank you. You're so sweet. Ooh, garlic cheesy pretzels. You live in the South. That's true, T. Adams. We have um, either hot dogs on the roller, except there's always one roller that's not rolling. So it's an uneven cook. <laughs> <laughs> or at 7-Eleven, you could get, what are they called? 
oh, what are they called? At 7-Eleven, they sell something where it's like a it's like a pocket full of love. It's like um you get like um a Monterey Jack chicken pocket full of love or or like a buffalo chicken pocket full of love. A taquito, that's what it is. Thank you, thank you, Shay. You're right, they're not called pocket full of loves, but that's how I explain them. Taquito rolls. But again, they're on these little rollers where one of them is not rolling, so it's an uneven cook. <laughs> so we don't have jumbo turkey legs where I live, all right? <laughs> I wish we did. Oh, man. <clears throat> so, yeah, and I, I'm starting to really get hungry for this turkey, man. Really, K. Cole? Yeah, I, I don't think I could find a, a giant turkey leg if, even if I wanted one right now. I, don't, I have no idea where they sell those. I like to make a turkey skin taco, crispy, crispy skin dressing and stop. Oh my goodness. These, these sound fabulous. Okay. So Letitia refers to it as Disneyland. Member says, oh, okay. Sounds pretty laid back now. Glad you are entertained. Why did they move you from Colorado? Thought it was surprising people who know it all. I've heard you say it was for protection, but if you don't want to talk about it, that's okay. I'm glad you're doing well, though. Aw, T. Adams, thank you so much. Feel better. Thank you. You're so kind. Thank you so, so much. Tisha hates it in there if she says she doesn't remember. You know what, Atomica? That's what somebody said uh, the last time we were discussing this. They said, don't, don't be fooled. She wants us to believe that she's having the time of her life because she doesn't want us to have the satisfaction of knowing she's miserable. And I was like, that's an excellent point. That's an excellent point. Um, but I do know that they are, they have more privileges than they should, in my opinion. Oh, thank you, Ginger. Turkey leg fund. Thank you. You guys are so kind. Um, so what she's saying isn't inaccurate though I guess that's the point that's the part that pisses me off it's like well we know that that's true and they do have that these freedoms and and access to these things but yes will she be hyping it up just so that we will be pissed off yeah that makes sense that makes sense Oh, Eric, thank you. You guys are so kind. Thank you so much. One who sees, thank you for being a member for two months. Feel better, Melissa. On all the kites, Letitia, don't sound so happy. Oh, we're going to go through those kites, definitely. Uh, they I was very interesting listening to uh, Curious Jen go through them and, and Allie and, and Bendy, and they're very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. And I look forward to going through them. But thank you so much, Eric. That was so kind of you. And thank you, One Who Sees, for being your member and for your support. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Meatfoot. I can promise you she's not happy. People like her only have the goal of controlling others. She's in control of nothing. She's just trying to act like she's she isn't devastated. She was exposed. Yeah. Oh, Eric, 
You're so sweet. Thank you. So Letitia says it had absolutely nothing to do. This is in regards to why is she no longer in Colorado? So she says it had absolutely nothing to do with less people knowing about my case. I was housed with people from Colorado for three and a half years. So of course everyone knew. I only had issues in the beginning back in 2020. After that, people knew my character and I never got in fights or was I attacked or any of these stupid stories that people make up. You are so super sweet, legendary. The color, no, the co's in Colorado prison were straight and both prisons are the same. It was a difference of media whom always scheduled visits and block spots or people selling my pictures. If you leave on an IC, you get more privacy because there is a stipulation for that. Gosh, these dumb stories are so off. It was not safe for me to go anywhere that someone would be taking a picture or selling it or recording me. That's what it was about. No inmates did not beat me up or any of these stupid assumptions people have. I was in general pop there. I just wanted to be away from constant limelight. To add to that, everyone knows me here too. Six people in my building are here on ICs from Colorado or just left there while I was in county. Difference, it's not like some fan club running around. So it was wise to do this and let the time pass and people there at DW move on. If they use their common sense, it's right next door as far as state. If it was for physical safety, it wouldn't have the one state over where they have tons of people here from Colorado. Sometimes people just don't think, I guess. It's just hilarious at these dumb ass stories. I'm sorry. Any objection? All objections. I have, I have, I have an objection. Did you, Letitia Stout, just say somebody else had a dumbass story? No. Yes. No, no, sir. I mean, John, no. No. That better not be you, Tisha, saying to anybody. that they had a dumbass story. Miss Uncle Matt, fake eight month pregnant, belly full of cash, operating money schemes from out of coffee shops, kidnapping kids out of the back of vans, riding bicycles down the hills, Letitia Stouk? Are you serious? Thank you, Meet Foot, for being a member for 18 months. All objections. I object. Any objection? All objections. I object on all levels for that one. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Thank you, Tess, for being a member for 13 months. That is crazy. It's hilarious at these dumb ass stories. You can't get a dumber story than the stories Dr. T has given us. Okay.
I don't have any fancy clothes. You go to my closet, you take whatever you need. You okay. too, Brennan. You guys gotta look sharp. It's the most important day of our lives, okay? Okay, Dad. What's your name? What's your name? What's your age? Where you from? Where you from? What's your son? What's your son? Who you love? Who you love? What's your style? What's your style? What you do? What you do? What you drive? What you drive? Stop, drop, drop, and roll. Do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. Stop, drop, and roll. Do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. Hit top, rolly, boy, we know you phony. Take her to the mall and buy you what she wanted. I already smashed, so I'ma let the homie. RP my cash and RP a Kobe. If you're born in September, then you know you're my type. If I see you on Tinder, then I gotta swipe right. If you're born in October, then you're just like me. Here's a resume, can you fill this out, please? What's your name? What's your name? What's your, age? What's your age? Where you from? Where you from? What's your sign? What's your sign? Who you love? Who you love? What's your style? What's your style? What you do? What you do? What you drive? What you drive? Stop, drop, drop, and roll. roll. Do that. Do, that. Do, it do it like a pro. Hey. Do that. Do that. Stop, stop, drop, 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 and roll. roll. Do, that. Do, that. do that. Do it like a pro. Do that. Do that. I don't want to hear shit from you, Miss Stout. I don't want to hear shit, okay? And thank you, Carol Friggin' Claus. Five dollars towards the turkey leg fund. I took towards the turkey leg fund, and I hope you feel better soon, Melissa Friggin' Jade. Thank you so much, and happy early birthday. Thank you, B Crumbs, for being a member for seven months lurking. Thank you so much for being a member for seven. Oh, Shay, stop, drop, and roll. Thank you, Shay. Brune. You know that came out the best, and I think it's because of the Rona. That came out the least horse-like. Oh, thank you, B. Crumbs, for gifting five memberships. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you, thank you, and congratulations to whoever received those memberships. That was so, so sweet. Thank you, thank you. Yay, September, you got a freaking membership. I love how she says, I got a freaking membership. Yeah, you did. Oh, ew, Rando. Did her hair leave a grease smudge on the sidewalk? You know it. Tisha was here. <laughs> In the grease. Oh. So sweet. Thank you, B Crumbs. That was so kind and generous. Okay. So she's like, whew. It's just hilarious at these dumbass stories. I was housed with these same people for years in CJC. Oh, Trent. Got a new account, Trent. Who's gonna get him? Thank you, Juju B, for being a member for two months. Happy Thanksgiving Eve to you as well. So, <laughs> okay, hold on. Where was I? Where was I? Wait. Okay. Gosh, these people and their dumb stories are off. Another trend. Oh, are you loaded and ready to go, Trent? How many are we going to get? No, guys, Trent has been around during the since the Gabby Petito case. I my block list I have a very tiny block list and 90% consists of Trent accounts. <clears throat> Hi Coco Shanang. Ooh, don't get me more hungry, Amber. 
B crumbs. Thank you. B crumbs gifted another five memberships, guys. That was so generous of you. Thank you so, so much. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Booberry, you're so kind. Thank you so much. Guys, you're going to make a gal cry. Ugh. Thank you. I'm not sure, Nay. Oh. You guys are all so sweet. Thank you. Seriously. Another Trent. Thank you, Madam Mom. Right, Tiffany? Yay, much endeavors. You got a membership. I love how excited people get when they get a membership. You guys are all so supportive and <clears throat> generous. Oh, Trent Bolton, Clyde, I hope yes. Thank you, B Crumbs. That's so kind of you. And thank you so much, Booberry. You're so sweet. Well, hopefully he's out of accounts. No, damn it. We got another one censored. Are you done yet so I can move on, Trent? Yeah, color me shell. So I, you, it's just by random chance that you get picked for a membership just make sure that you're opted in though so if you click up top where b crumbs gifted the membership um and it says b if you click on that and the little op like gift option make sure that you're opted in um or if you're like on an android i believe you could go where the super chat option is, click membership, the three dots, settings, and then opt in. And as long as you're opted in, you'll eventually make the rounds to potentially receive a, a membership, but it's, it's not like you could select who receives it. You have to just kind of be landed on. Oh, nay. Thank you, nay. Woohoo! Yay! Thank you, Nay. I'm excited to be gifted a membership. I've had mine on for three weeks and it was a gift for Nay. Yay! Thank you, Nay. And Thistle got one. Oh, Miss Rainbow, now you got one. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nay. You guys are so awesome. Look at you. I missed you, Snot Rocket. Um, Karen, I think you just go about it. You'd have to ask them in the chat, ask my mods how to do it. I honestly don't know. I think you do it the same way you would do a super chat. But if you're on the phone, I think you would have to. I think you would have to do it. Um, just. I, you'd have to ask my mods. I'm honestly not sure how to give to how to give super chats. I think I think you do it the same way you would go about doing a super chat, but I'm not sure. It's they say click the bottom right corner money for gifting. Okay, yeah, I think you just do it the same way you would do the super chat. Oh, uh, thank you, Meat Feats. I went on this on J-Love. Best friend of Meat Foot Cadet. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. You just got gifted to... Yay! Oh, uh, Katrina. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Har Harlot's my automatic. How do, how do you opt in for a membership? She always gets me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Aw. That's seriously going to make me cry. I'll blame it on the Rona, but you guys just are really seriously so supportive. Okay. Thank you, hypocrisy. Thank you for getting me back on track because I'm just going to be emotional. Okay. So, 
Letitia says, gosh, these dumb stories are so off. It was not safe for me to go anywhere that someone would be taking a picture and selling it or recording me. That's what it was about. No, inmates did not beat me up any of these stupid assumptions people have. I was in G general pop there. I just wanted to be away from the constant limelight. To add to that, everyone knows me here too. Six people in my building are here on ICs from Colorado or just left there while I was in County. Difference is, it's not like some fan club running around. So it was wise to do this and let the time pass and people there at DW move on. If they use their common sense, it's right next door as far as state. If it was for physical safety, it wouldn't have the one state over where they have tons of people here from Colorado. Sometimes people just don't think, I guess. It's just hilarious at these dumbass stories. I was housed with these same people for years in CJC. So why would I need a few extra? So dumb people are. Really? We're gonna we're gonna talk about how dumb people are. Okay. <clears throat> so the member says what is I see yeah I figured it didn't make sense thank you for being a member for 19 months T Adams and for eight months Richie this eight month old baby is almost walking now well you're not technically born at eight months but woohoo T. Adams, 19 months. I know I don't chat much, but I'm always watching. Well, thank you so much for the long 19 months of support. Seriously, you guys have no idea how much it means to me. So thank you so much. Hi, Snuggy Nuggy. So she said, what is an IC? Yeah, I figured it didn't make sense because you had been there a long time and I haven't heard of any incidents. Yeah, well, as we're seeing through the files that Allie and the Jeds are going through, there were a lot of incidents. I'm glad you are safe. I can definitely see people coming after you just for attention or fame. That's crazy all on its own. So you are in Gen Pop in Kansas too? I was worried when I heard you were in 23-hour lockup, but I don't know how long that lasted or lasts. I heard that a long time ago. Also... I heard Al's request a few years of solitary at the impact statement, which she should get. I surely hope that isn't the case. And it's just the same, men the same message that's sent twice, guys. So I'm not going to read the same message. And it, then she says, sent a message yesterday, but it's still pending. I wonder if they didn't approve it or what and why if they did. But regardless, I was just saying, yeah, their reasons didn't make sense. I sure hope you aren't on lockdown all the time like I had heard or hear. So it, um, <clears throat> and I apologize, sorry. Um, uh, September. So I guess the system has trigger words and things like that. So Obviously, it makes sense that this app would be monitoring somewhat of what you're conversing about. Hi, Mrs. O. It would be monitoring. And so I don't know uh, if it picks up on a certain word, it might hold the message until it gets approval or something. So Letitia says, yeah, the weekends take forever to approve sometimes. It picks random ones to delay. I don't know who came up with lockdowns. Prisons, prisons aren't like that. Only when you are on security risk, like mental health watches or if you are on behavior watches, you are locked down. It's a 180 of jail. Trent, how many accounts do you have?
member responds, oh, well, maybe you will get it later on. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know who did, but seems a bit crucial. Not sure what a 180 jail means. I'm finally making it home. Had to work today as well. Shake my head. You too, Karen Petty. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nay. So Letitia says, no, I was saying I don't know who keeps thinking prisons are locked down. They are not. You have the potential to be out from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. during the week and 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. on weekends. It's all about behavior. I was saying it's a 180 of jail, the exact opposite. You actually live here. Some people never lock down because they live in open dorms. Some have their own room key. It's about incentive levels. Follow the rules, you get more. Act crazy, you get less. So, I figured that for a low security situation, I really didn't think that was the case with high profile murderers. I don't know, though. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah, real John Doe. Even Max gets all out? Yeah. Oh, no, Abilas. A per one person can get a whole prison locked down. She's a liar. Oh, a little red riding hood. Yeah, I think you either have to do it where the super chat is or you have to, I think Shay told me you have to go in um, and do it through the desktop version if your phone isn't letting you normally do it. Um, Hold on, because I asked her how to do this before. Mm -mm. Okay, so iPhone users have to go to Safari, YouTube, and then sign in and then request your desktop website so that when you hit your money sign, you could gift. That's how you do it. I'll have to put that into Nightbot so that it won't be confusing and I don't have to go out to do that. <laughs> Welcome, Kaleida Hope. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. I don't know. I expected that. I didn't. I don't know. I didn't expect that for high security. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for being a member for four months, Mrs. O. I hope that you chat mods know how much you mean to me. Oh, hashtag friends. You guys mean the world to me, too. So it says, oh, wow. Yeah, I only been to jail, so I didn't know prison, but I heard it is a lot more lenient. Like the way Letitia is describing it kind of 
reminds me of Orange is the New Black, guys. Like, it, it, she's describing it like it's nothing. But again, you know, a lot of people are pointing out this is what she wants us to perceive it to be. But I know she's not lying about a lot of it. I'm not saying she's having the grand old time, but she does have access to a lot of things that I wish she didn't have. You too, Tia. Um, they said, maybe made any good friends yet? I know this is probably none of my business, but I'd rather just be up front. And that's just how I am. So if you don't want to answer my question, it's totally fine. But I am curious before I can truly befriend you. I just need to know by you that you are 100% innocent. I was hoping to hear you talk during the trial to hear your side, but I never got the chance. Oh no, Kaleida, I hope that stinks. I'm glad you were able to join though and I appreciate the support. Hey, Punksy. Well, she has always been claiming innocence, Stacy, right? Right, Clicker. Right. So Letitia responds, ready? And this is just last month. It's not wise to say your side at a trial especially when you are trying to do another strategy. And if you looked at the DNA and notice how she spaced out DNA, she put spaces between them so it would allow the message to go through because it would have held it for review if she didn't. And if you looked at the DNA and the gun specialist, you would know the answer to that without me revealing my strategy for appeals. His wasn't on anything of mine, but a shoe. And mine wasn't on anything, not even the main thing. It was unknown DNA. So the member asks, I need to know if you're 100% innocent. Letitia says it's not wise to say your side at trial, especially when you are trying to do another strategy. If you looked at the DNA and the gun specialist, you would know the answer to that without me revealing my strategy for appeals. His DNA wasn't on anything of mine but a shoe. And mine wasn't on anything, not even the main thing. It was unknown DNA. Now, when she says not even the main thing, I know some people think she's referring to the gun. Some people think she's referring to the suitcase. What do you guys think now that I'm going over the messages again? Some people actually thought she even meant the body. Um, tell me, what do you think going through these messages? If you weren't here the first time, if you're looking at them the second time with me. His wasn't anything on mine. His DNA wasn't on anything of mine but a shoe. We know his blood was found on the bottom of her shoe. And mine wasn't on anything, not even the main thing. What was the main thing? Do you think she's referring to the gun? Do you think she's referring to the suitcase? Do you think she's referring to his body? What do you think? Oh, thank you, MK. A whole baby! <laughs> I am not the father. MK, you're so sweet. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you so much, though, for being a member for nine months. Okay, so I think she means Gannon, probably the suitcase. <clears throat> I think the gun. She left it vague on purpose. I think the body. Um, body. Of 
according to her lawyer, it was the gun. Has her lawyer spoken out about this? Because this was only last month. No, Catherine. That is... Ah, Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, this is, but like, if she's referring to the gun, see, if she's referring to the gun, I don't know if I'm going to explain this right. She was already talking about the gun. So what, the way she says the main thing, it kind of alludes to it, it being something outside of what she's already referring to. Does that make sense? Right, Natalia? Right? Toilet dog. Um, hey, Wolfie. So, <sighs> mm. see, I'm going to be honest. I, the gun still leaves me with a lot of questions. It does. Um, not, not, let me be careful with how I say that. Letitia is still responsible and she is accountable for this. What I'm, what I meant is how nobody heard it and how there isn't evidence of, of gunshots occurring in the room so much. Even though blood spatter, the blood spatter can be indicative of gunshots. I'm saying no other evidence of it occurring in the room other than that. Um, but there was a lot of traffic outside of that house there were there was even i think it was the optum people outside and so yes i am not educated with gun guns gun sounds anything like that and i have had people who are more educated on it who have told me a pillow case and pillow can very much muffle the sound of a gun shot so I will take their, um, um, I will take their, uh, input much, sorry, I think I just got a brain fart. Don't do my, I'm still sick, so please bear with me. Um. I'll take their word for it. Thank you, just Jen. I struggled there. I, I was I was struggling there for a bit. I'll take their word for it because I don't know anything about guns. Thank you, Pointer Lover. Turkey leg. Thank you. Turkey leg fund. God, I want a freaking turkey. I'm so fucking sad. I want that food tomorrow. Oh man. And now and I, we, I want to have the live scheduled and I was thinking maybe I could do an open panel. There is a good portion of people who actually do not think Gannon returned home shortly after two. And that the infamous footage of not seeing Gannon get out on the other side, yet we now believe Gannon got out the other side and she kills Gannon right before Lena gets home didn't happen. And she actually kills Gannon and dumps him before she returns home. There's a good portion of people who believes that happened. 
And I would like to do an open panel and host people who have different theories and discuss it because I never really explored that option. And I really want to hear about it. Yes, it can. If you fire a gun indoors close to the floor, pointed towards the floor, or close to an object like a pillow, it is surprisingly quiet. And it was in the basement. That's what I thought, Artesmia. Um, oh, much endeavors. It is an awesome chat. I got a pretty amazing group of people here. Well, what was crazy and we went over the arrest warrant uh, in the last previous episodes and the analyst said this is before they found Gannon's body, right? They said the blood spatter on the walls is indicative of a stabbing, blunt force trauma, or gunshot. Little did they know Gannon would suffer stabbing blunt force trauma, and gunshot. All three. Valentina, if if up top, if you see the little gift where Nay or B Crumbs gifted, if you click on it, there should be a little gift box for you to opt in for memberships. We are. And but for her to say, oh, I don't want to reveal my strategy for appeals. You listen, it, it's that, that surprised me that she would even try to get an appeal. Listen, what else is she gonna do? But <laughs> thanks, Harley. You're the best. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. You don't have a strategy, but did you guys know this? Did you guys know? Because I actually, to be honest, I didn't know that your lawyers have as much decision making as they do until I was covering Sarah Boone. And um, you have a say in your defense, like you have the say of, I want to vote not guilty. Um but you don't have necessarily a say in what your defense is going to be. Did you know that? So if your lawyers think that a certain defense is going to work better in your favor, they'll go with that defense. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know that a lawyer can say, hey, we're going with this defense. Like, I thought that you had to kind of give you, I, I thought you kind of had to give the lawyers somewhat your defense. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Kind of like, all right, let's take Brian Koberger, for example. With the Ido case, if his if he's telling his lawyers, you too, Jay, you too, have a good night, rest, um, and happy Thanksgiving. If 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 he was like, no, like this is what I was doing, and I was driving around, that his lawyer would kind of have to build a defense based on what he's giving his lawyer. But if his lawyer decides, no, I kind of want to go in a completely different, even if it's made up, that they'll go in that direction. I didn't know that. And you don't have a say in the direction that your lawyer's going in.
It's the bottom right, Valentina, bottom right of the chat. It, it's right. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. It's so strange, so peculiar. Yes, it was. It's so weird. So the person says, I do know about the shoe. Only thing was the ride to, hold on, did I? Okay. I do know that about the shoe, meaning his DNA being found on your shoe. Only thing was the ride to Florida. What was that all about? You know, when Letitia dumps Gannon's body. What was that all about, if I may ask? I almost thought you just needed some time away from all the crazies, but I guess everyone just used it against you. Awesome, Valentina. Letitia said, I should get another trial because of the automatic appeal from the juror whose son worked for the DA who prosecuted me. If not, God knows what I did and didn't do. He knows my mind then. He knows my intentions and my heart. So I don't know if that's true. I'd be curious to know if that's true. Do, is it? Uh, probably not true. Probably not true. Um, she's claiming one of the juror's son worked for the DA. But you're right, Tisha. If God is what you believe in, he does know what you did and didn't do. And you should be scared. Hi, Michelle. You should be fearful. You should be very fearful. Member says, I hope you do. So what was the Florida drive about? Of course, God knows absolutely everything. Luke 8, 17 is a really good verse. Letitia wrote, I had a condo in Orlando. One of my guy friends lived there. I had a license there. My exes who died family is there. I had a support system there. Oh, and you were also dumping Gannon's body there. Let's be real. That is hysterical, Amy. The judge was like, listen, no more poking smut in the stairwells. We have cameras. We see you. And Dr. Dorothy Lewis's son is like, what? Uh -huh. And that was so bad. The member said, but why go to Florida just to come back a few days later if the thing was to be your support system? Wow, a condo? Cool. I just got into my own not long ago. It's in downtown so I can see all the skyline. Letitia says, I don't know what you are talking about. I did not come back. I never came back until I went to jail. That's cool. Downtown living is fun. The member said, oh, I thought you had come back after that. So you went from Florida to Myrtle Beach again? Because isn't that where they arrested you? Regardless, it's all just crazy. I can't believe they did all that extra crap. Cops are something else. Letitia says, no, I didn't come back. I owned a house in Myrtle Beach and all my stuff was there and all my friends are there. Yeah, they wasted a ton of money for sure. The person says, oh, okay, so is that where Harley lives now? Your house in Myrtle Beach? 
Yeah, it wasted a lot of wasted taxpayers' money for sure. Letitia says, ha ha, a judge can't order people to solitary. Solitary is illegal in most states at the prison level unless you are VIO inside. I did not have problems or incidents. I have explained to you that prisons aren't like that. It's your home, not a jail, so don't worry. I am literally cooking food now, watching TV, and making a Baja Blast. First of all, is that true that judges can't order solitary? And if you guys could take a moment and hit the thumbs up before you answer, I would greatly appreciate it. And it helps the channel. So thank you. But is it true? I don't know. Can a judge not order solitary? It's up to the prison, Sean. Okay. Judge cannot order what happens inside the prison. Oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't know that, Meat Feeds. So... And she said solitary isn't illegal in most states at the prison level. But she's like, it's your home, not a jail. Do you think she could get an appeal due to ineffective assistance of counsel because of the whack ass Dr. Lewis they put on the stand as an expert when she didn't even know? No, I don't. I don't think they... Okay, so I don't think it would have been ineffective counsel based on the expert that took the stand. Um, I feel really bad for the counsel. Did you guys see the article that... Let me show you. Her lawyer spoke out. Hold on. The lawyer spoke out on an anonymous BuzzFeed article and it made me because and it's true like what they wrote in this article because um, I did not like her lawyers and during the trial, it seemed like she was even flirting with one of the lawyers and she was chumming it up with the lawyers and giggling and reading this article. It was really interesting and I felt bad, but I thought it was really important when I was doing my coverage of, uh, Brian Koberger to keep this in mind as defense attorneys who are appointed. Let me pull it up one second.
Okay. So look. Hi, the Shiznits. So this is a BuzzFeed article that lawyers anonymously confessed that the clients they uh, regret representing, and it's actually disturbing. So if you scroll down, Okay. Ready? So it says, this is Letitia's attorneys at the time. And it says, I worked with a client who was a pathological liar and killer. This was a big case and more than one attorney represented her. I believe that every person deserves representation in court. I believe in due process and the law. It's something that matters a lot to me, but I was not prepared for the death threats or the hate I would get for representing her. I was just doing my job. I didn't choose her. I didn't want this case. It ruined my public image and the way people see me. I've gotten letters to my house calling me a snake, greedy, or sicko. The threats didn't stop after the case. It didn't help to have a client who was dishonest, even to her attorney. There was no winning this case. It was a disaster, and I didn't sleep for the majority of it. She was found guilty. What she did was truly horrible, and I'm glad justice had been served. I was just doing my job as an attorney. You don't always like the client. When the court appoints you to represent someone, it doesn't mean that you believe them or want them to go free. The amount of people who think I am best friends with her is absurd. Asking how can I sit beside her and defend her? How can I be so stupid to believe these outlandish lies. How can I want her to go free? I don't. I'm doing my job. Doing my job cost me my reputation as a good person. Everyone thinks I'm on the team of a child killer and like them and want to help when that was never the case. Please don't judge us. Sometimes the court appoints you and you do the job the best you can. It doesn't mean you don't want justice or that you want an evil person to be free. I couldn't stand this client and she belittled every witness as they te uh, testified, smirking and whispering to us. And I couldn't get home to see child killer. And I could, I'm sorry smirking and whispering to us and i get home to see child killer laughs and jokes with her attorney as gruesome details and photos of 11 year old shown i told her to stop talking and sit still i was happy with the verdict and i believe the jury made the right choice i still have to look over my shoulder and receive threats daily it was never ending for me and it says 50 out of Colorado which is you know her attorneys so it was just you know interesting to see them speak out you know it's just you know hmm
so then I wanted to finish the remainder of our phone call from Letitia. I think there's like 30 minutes left on it. Moving on up. To the east side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. Here it is. Got it. Got it. All right. You guys ready? Okay. Ready, guys? Go into, like, the, 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 the defense mode of being like, oh, my God. Okay, get the girls out of here. Okay. Cannon's going to be back by the time he's supposed to be back. Because in the end... So where we left off was her walking through the events now her walking through the events of Monday and her being shmaped and the shmapist allowing her to go upstairs for a split second When Lena comes to the door and her, no, 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 don't come in. Don't come in. Yeah, no, here, Harley, get this list of these cleaning products for the carpet and go uh, get these items so you don't come into the house. Valentina, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, but when I'm looking down, your comments are crazy and people are saying stop. So I don't know what you're doing, but please stop. Thank you. And when Gannon was leaving, I remember him asking him, was he going to take him to Uncle Matt's house? That's, I remember that being blacked out. So Gannon freely went with him. I don't know Uncle Matt. I'm not fucking crazy. I'm not fucking crazy. They should have just clipped that part and used that at trial when they tried to do not guilty by reason of insanity. Just saying. So he left with Uncle Matt in a car or something or in a van or, or you don't know? I don't know why he left it. I just know that the whole thing started to add up because Ganna kept going outside with some gate. Ganna had to be talking to somebody outside of that gate. I begged the fucking El Paso County police officers to find anything on that side of the house where Ganna might have went out at night talking to whoever it was. Like any cars that was parked on that side of the house. Nobody helps me. Okay, so I, 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 I'm trying to just, this is what's bothering me about this part, and I'm just they did look, and there was nothing. You want everyone to believe that this 11-year-old was meeting with somebody on the side of the gate? Give me a break. There was nobody. Just, I want to be real with you because we're trying to work together on this, but 
I went and asked all the neighbors, myself, like all like cameras in front of our house, to the side of our house, everything, to look and see if Gannon left the house anywhere from like two to four, four thirty, anything like that. And no cameras have him leaving. So I mean, I don't. Where are what kind of cameras? Are they like Rogers that run twenty four seven? Yes. See. See, what kind of cameras? What kind of cameras are they running 24-7? This is what she did with uh, Special FBI agent John Grusing in this interview, what you see up on the screen, this interview and interaction with John Grusing. When she tried to say and introduce the news story that she had the threesome with Angel and that she actually dropped Gannon off for a play date with Angel's nephew. She tried to say it occurred in a parking lot. Yet John Grusing said, we looked at that parking lot and there it did not happen. You are not seen, nor is that car scene that you claimed you dropped him off in. And then Letitia then says, oh, well, let me see the footage because then maybe I'll be able to look at the footage and show you where exactly we were. No, because see, even then when they look through the footage, then you introduce, well, maybe, what kind of cameras? Maybe it was the wrong cameras. The same way that you were going to try to show Grusing, oh, well, actually, you it happened to be the one little blind spot we were in. See, if, if you let me look at the cameras, I'll happen to point to the one area off camera that that's where we actually were parked. No. So the, like three, four, five of the neighbors have those 24-7 cameras. Okay, so, and it's somewhere like one? ours, which are motion censored. Okay, which ones? Because we need to know which direction that their that their cameras are pointed in order for that to happen. Okay, well, that's something this we can look I'm into. This is what i to help. Okay, that's something we need to look into. So it, either they, they went out in front, I'm assuming, right? Not the front door. So what, what the garage? I would say the garage or either out the back door because Gannon had the gate code, like the key. And he kept going out there with this key or trying to unlock it or keep it unlocked with this key. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, so I understand. So now Gannon, in the, in, with all this going on, Gannon tells the guy there's a key to the gate and then they open the no, gate and bring the key no, back in the house? No, no. Did you listen to my sword? Yeah. The I, night yeah, the I, other night, Gannon kept going outside with the gate. I'm thinking that the gate was automatically left unlocked. Oh, okay. Did you lock it back before I got home? No, I didn't lock anything. Okay. I, right. I didn't do anything unless they locked it or the police locked it because Harley okay. said the police put cameras in it and locking it. Okay. Locking maybe, everything up. We can find that out. Maybe the police locked it back up. So, let's, yeah, that, fair enough. So. I. That's just all, all that kind of is blowing my mind. You know, he wasn't seen leaving. The key to the gate was in the house. The gun was where it's supposed to be. I'm just trying to figure it all out, Tisha. The gun, wasn't, wasn't, the gun wasn't where it was supposed to be because I put the gun back in when you told me to collect them. Okay. Well, hopefully, the gun I mean, was downstairs. They got my gun now, so hopefully they can get this uh, Mexican guy's fingerprints. So. Yeah. It would be perfect to me. Um, I've said this nothing but from day one. I know. That's what I'm trying to get. So get all them this information. You know, I think the FBI is in on it now. So we're trying to get them all this information. Look for a fingerprint on the gun. You know, maybe they haven't looked there. Look for a fingerprint on the lock of the gate. You know, stuff like that as the little things that they may have missed, you know, during this process. But why? Why would they have not have done that? And I maybe I'm just upset by this because I feel like, they barked up the wrong tree for two fucking weeks, Albert. It's been three weeks almost, Tisha. Yes, I'm I, talking about I agree. Bother me. I agree with you. I, I'm as frustrated as anybody because I don't know anything. And Albert Stout, do you think I did this? Tisha, Tisha Stout, I don't know. I'm just but trying. Really? I'm trying to help you, okay? I'm trying to help you get the truth out there. But you've got to, you've got to tell me the truth, okay? I did. I, I Same know. Thing I told you is what I told the police. The only difference is, I thought it was the carpet person, but once I went around because I was freaking out trying to figure out, I was like, if I could go get this fucker and bring him in, and I drove through the neighborhood. The description that I gave El Paso is exactly what I saw. 
So that is not the exact description, description that I gave to of this carpet person. So my point behind that was, I don't think it was the carpet person because I eliminated him because he didn't have craters on his face. He did or didn't? Didn't. I'm sorry, what? What? Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just say he didn't have craters on his face? craters that is what is up on my screen so i am assuming i heard that correctly craters on his face no yes. no no sir i mean Jan, john no no no. Yes. No, no, sir. I mean, Jan, John, no. No. What does that mean? Is that what that means, Shay? Pimple scars? Pimple scar? But how... How are you so specific for somebody that doesn't exist? She does like this this person doesn't even exist. So you uh, Oh my God. I, 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 ju I just, I just had to make sure I was hearing that correctly. Okay. She's like, listen, everything I said was the truth. The same thing to investigators, same thing to you. Except the craters, minus the craters, okay? He didn't have craters on his face. He did or didn't? Didn't. So, but let me, well, hold on, hold on. Let, you know what? Something. Remember how? Oh my goodness! Thinking back to this whole uh, that trip you made for the bike, you never found the guy, right? The Craigslist no, guy. No, because it started looking creepy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You you don't think that this Craigslist guy had maybe had anything to do with you? I mean, I mean, not you, but you know what I mean. Oh, I'm freaking out. Sorry. Um, and you don't, However, think, I don't, you don't think that Craigslist guy followed you or just found you? Maybe you told him, hey, I'm driving my husband's red frontier and I'll meet you there or something like that. I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of anything. Okay. But the, okay. So let's say it's him. I don't, what I don't like is that people are sitting here saying, well, there's nothing that shows you guys leaving. Leaving. If there's no, like, if there's nothing at this point in time, it's starting to get dark. Because in case you didn't know, in Colorado, it's getting dark around that time. Okay. There has to be something that points to that direction that shows any shadows, movement, anything. And if it didn't, it was because the ring sensitivity didn't pick it up. All right, so so uh, listen, I, I I want I want to I want to be clear with you that I I am not I don't give a f flip about social media. You know that I don't have Facebook. I'm not on there, so I don't know what these people are saying. So let's me and you focus on us getting to the bottom of what's going on. Okay, let's try to block out that other stuff for so we can get the truth here. Um, I'm really I man, this Craigslist thing is really driving me nuts now. Do you think that when 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 did you go? What was the time frame you went there again? You went to Dunkin' Donuts, right? They have whatever time they have me I, on footage. The first time at Petco. Oh, at Petco. So after that is when you left. Because I went back to Petco to get more clothes. Okay, so you went. So then you when, when did you go back to Petco after the Craigslist trip? Yeah. Oh 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 oh. And you said the guy was already in the house. Before you got there, you think? When I got to 
there that I was already definitely, most definitely in the house or had already been in the house waiting or whatever it may be, which is why I thought it was the carpet guy because that was the person that I gave the garage yeah, code Yeah, you gave the garage code to him. Right. Yeah, right. But then the more I laid and the more I slept and the more I kept worrying about it and thinking about it and yada, yada, yada. Gamma kept having his room door locked. Well, you don't you don't have to be here, Valentina, if you don't want to. You know, she may enjoy the attention, but I'm more, you know, I'm more interested in understanding the psychology behind the crime that she committed and understanding what drives a person to get to this point and the lying and trying to also figure out the truth of what happened to Gannon. But if you don't want to give her the attention, that's totally fine. And then you don't have to be here. Just saying. But I'm going to do what I want to do on my channel. Um, I don't know Holden. I have no idea. And she probably did met a mom, Schmeet. Um, What are you talking about, Valentina? Nobody did the shiznits. Yeah, you don't have to bust the caps up, Valentina. What? They never sh showed that in court of her loading the suitcase at the rental car place? They never, they never showed that. I think we would remember that. Now, her brother got on the stand and testified to being there as they loaded the moving vans. And he testified to seeing that suitcase and Letitia struggling to move it, but would not accept any help. Please don't state things as fact. How do you know what the family thinks? She shot him way more than likely in woods at Palmer Lake. This is what family actually thinks you do this if it. I don't, I don't know. It's a great question. See, here's the thing. I don't know if the board was used at all to hit him versus the board. Um, if you look at where the blood was, the blood um, was on uh, the the rear hatch of the Tiguan, um, and in the in the garage, and so where those that wood was, it may have just dripped from the suitcase. So I don't know if it was used um, as, I think they would have been able to know that. They're able to determine whether it's blood transfer, dripping, um, if it was from impact. I, excuse me, please don't talk like that. I am very well aware that the arrest warrant was written prior to the body being found. And I just explained there is a good portion of people who do not think he ever came home, right? And didn't I just say probably not even 20 minutes ago 
that I want to host a panel with people who have a differing opinion, who think that Ganon never even survived and came home and who was killed prior because of the gun, right? And and the shooting did not even occur in his room. Didn't I just say that, right? So just please don't speak to me that way. All opinions are welcome, but you don't need to speak that way. So you're the one who can't... Okay, are you the one who left the comment underneath that video? I read the comment a couple of episodes ago. And I told you to email me. I said you're more than welcome to come up. Sure, email me. You're more than welcome to come up. You, did, you left a comment under one of my old episodes, right? I had read it. I had read it. If you got anybody who's here, do you guys remember? I had read a comment that somebody had left. I just didn't read her name in case she didn't want it to. Um, and she suggested that Gannon never returned. She said that Gannon never returned home and that he was already left prior. Um, but I said I never got the email. So you're more than welcome to email me and you're more than welcome to join, especially if you've been to the trial. I'd love to hear your feedback. Just, it's the, just the way you're commenting in chat. And that's the issue, caffeinated slug. Um, if, if he, that's like, if, if we didn't hear from Gannon say, but I'm worried about my burns, I would totally not believe that he was burned to begin with. Hi, Susie. Hi, Will B. Um, but we heard Gannon himself say, but what about my burns? Why would he say that if he wasn't? Oh, thanks, Mrs. O. And that too, right? And I said that was my biggest issue um, with him not returning home. The room, there was blood spatter all over that room. He would not be able to survive the blood spatter in that room. And you cannot tell me, oh, that that event from the blood spatter occurred prior because we see him walking out to the van shortly after 10 a.m. So it's not possible. What are you, who, first of all, who said 15 minutes of fame? And nobody's putting out misinformation. Watch yourself, seriously. <clears throat> watch yourself anybody is allowed to discuss this case and you aren't privy to any more information than anybody else in the chat is seriously you literally are not privy to any more information now i've been nice to you i told you that you're more than welcome to come up i have no idea why you're speaking like that Like what, Valentina?
Thank you, Susie. So what are you going to, are you going to go into everybody's coverage that, that of, of Gannon or Letitia and, and demand that they not cover it because Letitia likes fit. I don't give a crap. I'm not doing it for Letitia. I'm doing it because I want to do it. Right. I'm obviously not doing this for Letitia. So I don't really give a shit if she is enjoying the fame. I'm not doing it for her to begin with. I do it because I enjoy it. I try to understand it. But you sitting here and saying uh, misinformation, that's offensive. You're not privy to any information that anybody in this chat isn't privy to. Well, it's not even got the information from Ali and the Jeds. It's it's the case files. It's right there. It's 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 the same information that is public to everybody. Okay, but to be fair, Valentina, you want me to take your word for that? Right? I I don't know you. That would be irresponsible of me. How can I verify who you've spoken to? I, I, so you are yelling about misinformation, yet you want me to take your word that he was drugged Saturday. Uh, Sunday, I'm sorry. Now, yeah, drugs were in his system. I, I don't think anybody is going to argue with that. So where is the issue here? I don't even understand what the, the <laughs> I don't even understand what the issue is. Thank you, Snuggy Nuggy. I don't like to block people, Michelle. Yeah, and can you take the caps locks off? It's the caps locks that it's, it's it tends to derail the chat. Who said he did? I'm sorry. I know that I'm sick right now, but am I going crazy? Because I am pretty sure I have adamantly said you do not bleed from burns. I am pretty sure I have repeatedly said that they literally on the field use burns to stop bleeding. What is happening right now? Am I am I and am I hallucinating? Am I going crazy? What is happening? Why am I being yelled at for saying the same? Like, this is what I've said. No shit. He was attacked with an object and he was stabbed. What is happening? Like, when have I said anything different? I'm sorry. Do you want to know how I take this as? I'll be honest, Valentina. You know how I take this as? 
I take this as you feel superior because you may have gone to the trial. And so you want to run around and you want to dictate and control and let everybody know you went to the trial and you may have talked to somebody and you're just now coming in and acting like you have inside information. You don't have any additional information than anybody else in the chat has. So cut it the hell out. You literally did not say anything different than I've been saying this entire time. So that that's insane to me. You literally just busted a caps lock and literally said, no wonder the fam stays off this, which is really highly offensive. It's really highly offensive. See, exactly. I have met with the DA. I have met with Ruthing. I've met with six, because unlike you all who want to glamorize this, then what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Are you here just to say I've met with these people? Good for you. No, why are you attacking me? Why did you come into my chat to do this? You came in here yelling at me for misinformation when literally I am saying the same thing that you just said. Yelling at me for glamorizing Letitia. Yet, if you're not into it, then not don't be here. You saw what the title was. You saw what the thumbnail was. What's wrong, Valentina? Please run, run along. Seriously. <laughs> you sound silly. You sound silly. You could have just, hey, can I have a link? I would love to be able to share my insight. I went to try. I literally read your comment. What was it? Two episodes ago for people. And I said, hey, guys. Glamorize. Honey. Honey. Ganging up on you. Trust me, my mods are waiting, waiting to time you out, but they won't because I don't like to silence people. You are you have not clarified any facts. That's the thing. You're sitting here busting caps locks, repeating information that I've been up here saying. So really, you've done nothing. You're like, hey, let me come he in here and yell at you and repeat information that you've already stated. Let, let me come in here and yell at you and, and, and say facts that you've already stated. And let me stop my feet that how dare you cover Letitia? How dare you click on if you don't wanna be into it? You don't have to be here. Run along. Did you get your 15 minutes of, of, of fame? Did you get your Little energy, come on. That's how you sound. I was even so terrified to think that this person even spent the night not all. Oh, you know? oh, you think they, he was there the whole time? I don't know. Do you know how worried I've been about this? I know that's freaking me out because that remember those other stories you were talking about about people coming in the back door and stuff while they thought people were away. That I've been going through all that in my head too. Albert, I've done nothing but I, I look. I have this book right here. You can hear it. It's like about all anything and everything that I thought of that might have been out of order. That. All right, all right, so okay, so maybe you think I don't want my life back. You think I don't want my family back. I know. Me, I'm not trust me, me too. Killer. I'm tired of being portrayed as one. Okay, but you gotta help me because I, I'm, I, I'm trying to sort through all this and put a good timeline together so I can tell this. Somebody reached out from the FBI, and I'm trying to tell them a timeline of what I know, 
Okay, and I'm trying to make sure they get the truth the first time. This lady that called me. Okay, so why are the El Paso people not going after this? Why? I, I don't know. Maybe the FBI is. I don't know. I, that's not. I, I know they're awesome. doing everything they can. Maybe they missed some things we don't know. But listen, something you told me that first day that I'm trying to figure out when the, when when did you do the like you said you cleaned everything up. Cleaned everything up? Yeah, from Gannon's room or wherever you got, you know, somebody did bad things to you or whatever. I was just talking about, like, the clothes I had on and, like, shoes and stuff. Oh, so you just changed your clothes and then and then threw them away, like you said, and Gannon, the whatever Gannon had on, you said you threw that away, too? They got that out of the the back of the trash. It was oh. his, his shirt that he wore that was burnt and stuff like that. Oh. That's all I meant, like, cleaned up. I didn't mean, like, clean up anything bad or anything. I'm just saying, like, I didn't want to keep that stuff on and call and police. But you, but you, you, you told me that first day you cleaned up the whole area because you didn't want Lena to see it when she got home. That's what you told me. Yeah, my clothes and my underwear. You, you, you want me to really go in depth about that? I yeah, wait, wait, don't hold me accountable for what I said. She always gets mad whenever Al, whenever Al repeats back to her a former story. She gets really mad. Like, how dare you? How dare you repeat back to you, repeat back to me what I may have said previously? All right, you can remove Valentina now. I don't First of all, Valentina, I don't know if you're a DV survivor or what. And you don't know my history either. So don't you dare throw that. You're a you're a name in the chat. I don't know who the hell you are, but you can remove them. Thank you very much. I don't give a crap what you tell Crime Curious. Bye. I'm not trying to make you relive anything that happened to you. I'm just trying to there's just some truth that I'm trying to find about, I mean, if something was cleaned up or something, then, you know, I don't know. Maybe, just go ahead and ask me. If I, any, whatever you're trying to say to me, don't just, just be honest. I because, just don't want the police to miss anything else, okay? I mean, we think they've missed all these other pieces. And, then, I mean, if you cleaned up something that could give them DNA evidence on this Mexican guy, then we need it. They took my whole DNA from this. They wouldn't let me pee. The hospital bill that I sent you was the whole kit on my body. I just <sighs> because when they took her to the hospital, the only test they were able to get a, a warrant for, unfortunately, with the scene exam was blood. It was not intrusive, so it was not like um a vaginal swab or anything like that. They took photos of her head and her hands, but it was just a blood exam. So they were not able to do like a full on like rape kit or anything like that. But, but tell me, why did you tell me? I just don't understand why you told me you cleaned up in the area. And then now you're telling me you just changed your clothes. That, that, see that's. No, when you're talking about cleaning up the area, I'm talking about from Gannon, like, Gannon had from his burn marks. There was blood on the wall and on the light switch. Oh, 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 so, so that, so you cleaned up what, whatever Gannon's stuff, what blood or whatever was, right? That was prior. Oh, where, but where was that at? In that, his room when he woke up Monday morning. But like where? But where? Where in his room? You said you did say the wall because he had uh, he was wiping his fingers on the wall or something. I don't know if he wiped his fingers on his wall. I just know his arm probably hit the wall when he was asleep. Oh, I got you. Okay. All right. So, so you clean, but you clean that up. Okay. Cause I never saw that. That's the first I heard of it. So you, you clean up wherever his, bl his blisters or his burn mark hit the wall. Did you clean something else up? Light switch from where he touched it. Oh, but that was after you showed it to me. Yes. You yeah. You showed it to me and Lena and then told me that he was, uh, picking his fingernails so bad that he bled so bad, remember? Yes, he did pick his fingernails. Oh, okay. So, so he, picked, he picked his fingernails and he picked, I'm just trying to clarify, picked his fingernails and his, uh, his blister or his burn mark or whatever. What do you mean? Gannon picks everything that's open. 
Uh, yeah, I, I'm why not. Are you, why are you acting like you're on, got me on some trial with this? He picks his fingers all the time. Babe, because you. anything that's open. Babe, you're absolutely right about that. But I, I don't know why you feel like you're on trial. I'm talking to my wife, trying to figure out the truth. And like I told you before, it, the truth hasn't always lined up. So I just want to find out all the details so we can find Gannon. That's it. Albert, I gave you every detail. But you were coming at me saying, I thought you did this afterwards. Gannon bleeds all the time. Right. Gannon has huge nose no, nosebleeds. Did you tell him the nosebleeds from your truck is from Gannon? When did he have a nosebleed in my truck? Oh, my. See, she puts it on to Al. Did you tell them? Did you validate my claims that the the blood all over the Tiguan would have been from Gannon's nosebleeds? And then Al's like, what? what? When did he get a nosebleed? Oh, my God. So somebody had asked earlier again before we got derailed, is the particle board, did they use the particle board to potentially injure Gannon with due to where the blood was found in the Tiguan. They would know based on the particle particle board, if it was blood transfer or the blood dripped onto it. I believe the blood, uh, the board being underneath the trunk area of the Tiguan and that being where she loaded the body, I think it may have dripped onto that board. And because it was the blood also was found on like that rear hatch. I think she just loaded the board up. I don't think she used it as the object that caused the blunt force trauma. But you let me know what you guys think in the chat. I don't even play. It's been there since Alaska. And the top part of your truck, you have his hands had blood marks on it for like a year or something ago. Maybe. I, I don't. I, I'm not doubting you. I don't know. I just don't remember that. But that, that might have happened. I know he has had a nosebleed once in a while. I don't remember that no. in Alaska. His nosebleeds are like in Colorado or at least once every week or two. Every week or two, Gannon has a nosebleed. This is where I get angry. Because, like, people come up here and talk all this shit, and they don't even know him. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what the people are saying on social media. I don't even bother with that. And, you know, I have it for a long time. But I'm just trying to. All right. Um, <laughs> can, say what you got to say. Albert. I'm just trying to retrace some steps in retrace some steps <laughs> in my head. Did. um. So the Mexican guy, did, did you see like anybody? I'm trying to think of this Craigslist. Did you? Did he have a picture, or did he like give you any information about him? Like, hey, I'm, you know, other than where to find him at or anything like that. I mean, how? What was the framework of like how you set up that to meet him? Everything is on my phone, Albert. I, babe, I don't know. I, I don't. I guess they got your phone. You keep telling me that, but I'm just trying to figure out how you went about doing this. So maybe we can. Uh, that that freaking lady that called me bugging the shit out of me from the FBI, you know, maybe she maybe that's something relevant. I don't know. I reached out to him. They have access to my phone. Okay. On my phone, I click the Craigslist thing, which generates this whole like number, some 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 something, whatever the email they do to protect the people that are selling stuff. I had all that and access you heard to my whisper? phone for that. I have limited access because a lot of my stuff don't, didn't load. A lot of it weren't backed up. My emails weren't backed up. My notes weren't backed up. The only thing backed up when I logged in to the iPod that they let me in temporarily was pictures. If they gave me my phone, which is mine, it would clearly have everything. And since they've done all these Letitia Logic, if they gave me my phone, which is mine, it would give me everything. No, it wouldn't. The same way that you said, oh, if you look in that handy dandy phone 
and that secret app, you'll find that three way I downloaded because I had that threesome with Angel and Co. Yeah, it wasn't in there, but you know what was in there? I dislike my stepson. Should I get a divorce? Arterial bleed keeps spurting. Direct pressure won't stop. Can't control it. Those were in there. That's what was in the phone. These things, they should see this. They should see pictures of what I took again and at home with me later. They should see all this shit, man. And it pisses me to fuck off that no one's even caring. Everybody's going to point the finger, but won't let me sit there and show you. All right, Leticia. Okay. I, you told me to be straight. And then, I got you, then I got you on the phone. And I'm trying to sit here and tell my own husband every little detail, everything. You think I don't want my family? All right, Tisha, listen. Uh, like I said the whole time, I'm just trying, trying to help you and trying to keep you and Harley safe from all. I mean, these people are after me now. I don't know who the hell it is, but I, like I said, I had to go get my clothes changed and everything just so I could blend in better. And I want you to know that no matter what, no matter no matter what, we can work through this together, and I can help you, okay? But you just gotta let me help you. But I have a very, you told me to be straight up. I got a very straight up question, okay? Are you? Before we get to that question, do not forget for one second, she is still supposed to be using this Indian man's phone. All the way two episodes ago, when we started this call, she claimed, he said, I was like, what number are you calling from? Thank you, sexy wild thing, Carol freaking Claus, for being a member for eight months. Your support is so greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Do not forget, at the beginning of this call, I was like, what number are you calling from? She's like, I, don't, I had to ask some random Indian guy if I could use his phone, damn it. So all the way, here we are. Two, this is the third fucking episode we're on and we're supposed to believe she is still on this random Indian guy's phone and not once we haven't heard this guy in the background like um yo how much longer are you gonna be like <laughs> I gotta go like uh I I'm out of minutes you know nothing we've heard the seatbelt alarm going off like she's driving She's like, hold on, I got to call you back. I got to go to the bathroom. Like, yo, she's in it. But we're supposed to believe that you had to ask this random guy, this random Indian guy, for his cell phone. The same way she also said, I have to ask random people to use their cars in the supermarket parking lots. Sure. But go on, Al. Let's hear your question for Letitia. You ready? Yeah. Did you kill Gannon? No. I need to know. I need you to answer me yes or no right now. Did I, I kill Gannon? Did the you? answer is no. I can't believe you asked me this. I just got to know you. I told me to be straight up. I got to know what's happening to my son. Tell I, me why you would think I killed Gannon. There's a, there's a lot of unknowns. I mean, you, I, I, being straight up again, you changed your story again to me for the fourth time. Okay? And now I changed my story. You did. This is the fourth version of the same story. Okay. I, wow. I mean, I, like half of what you told me today with the cut foot and now he's got burned arms and picking it and his butt's bleeding. All this stuff is is new to what you told me the other day. And the other day you told me to cl you cleaned up the area where you got raped so nobody would see it. But now you told me you just changed clothes. I just don't know what the hell's going on. I didn't tell you. First off, you never even listened to me about anything that went I on. did. I No, you stopped because I you listened to you. screamed at me. I listened to you. Didn't listen. Didn't listen. Bitch, we have it recorded. Didn't listen. Oh, we're listening. We are listening to every word. So much. Okay? It's not about if he's listening. Every word of every story you have introduced is recorded and will ultimately be played back for you to hear at a later time at your trial. 
So trust me, he's listening. This isn't about, oh no, you misunderstood or you weren't listening. She is so highly offended that he would ask her that. But that is a very reasonable question. And listen, I'm sure it must have been so hard for him to ask him, uh, to ask that question. It must have been so hard. Because even though he knew 99% chance that she was not going to give him an honest answer, but even the slightest chance just to have to ask it must have been terrifying. It must have been terrifying. Um, and so I, you know, I, I feel horrible that I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't imagine what, I can't imagine ever having to be put in this situation. I really can't, but how you could act shocked, Letitia, how you could ever act shocked and how you could ever try to turn around and be like, no, you just weren't listening to me. I didn't switch up my stories. You just weren't listening close enough. No, it's recorded. We were listening. You did switch up your stories. And then I went and got the guns and put them in the truck. And then I came back and list me and Landon listened to you. Then I stopped and picked your story apart. So get it straight, Tisha. I listened to you and I said, if I'm wrong about the rape, I will get on my knees and beg you for forgiveness. Did I not say that? Yeah, but you haven't. Exactly, because I haven't been proven wrong yet. I want the truth. You little bitch. Sorry. Sorry. But you... Mm. Yeah, his... his. They had his whole pillow was in the suitcase, Carol. One of his pillows was missing, and it was in the suitcase with it. She said, he's like, I told you. If, if that grape story was true, I will get on my knees and I will apologize to you. I will apologize profusely and I will beg for your forgiveness. And she says, yeah, but you haven't. I'm sorry. But what? It wasn't proven to be true. You have some nerve. This right here is, is what I would love to understand. What I would love for, for a very educated doctor to explain to me how her brain works. Because... How can you ever turn around and even say that? Yeah, but you haven't. You haven't apologized profusely. But none, none that was never proven to have occurred. You just said it. Even a few minutes ago when you said, oh, I got all the tests done at the hospital. No, you literally escaped the hospital, ran across at the Taco Bell and had Harley and her friend picked you up. You never got the test done right they had to get a damn warrant just to get your blood drawn like and then non-invasive tests give me a break oh if i'm wrong if the, if, if the, the police no matter what they're doing the fbi the cbi the cbs whoever Okay, if they tell me I'm wrong, I will publicly in front of the world get on a camera and tell you I'm sorry. But until that happens, we're going to find the truth. How can you tell me that someone didn't come? I don't understand. How can you tell me that someone didn't do something to hurt me and take in? How? I'm, I'm not telling. I don't know. Given that they have eight cameras facing the damn house uh, that's recording 24-7 and not one time do they see anybody else coming in and out of that house besides you? I don't know. Maybe that. But don't forget, when Grusing tells her that during the interview that he conducts with her right after they arrest her, 
What does Letitia say? Letitia says, oh, well, aren't you the FBI? Aren't you supposed to be the best of the best? Because they already changed that. They already figured out how to alter the footage. Yeah, Letitia turned around to the FBI and said that whoever these magical people were, were able to manipulate all of the footage and all of the apps to make it look like nobody else went in and out of that house. But how confidently she could turn around and say, how can you say that? How can you say that to me? How can you say that nobody broke in and shmaked me and took Gannon and hurt us? Because there is literal footage recording and they see you coming and going. They see everything else except anybody else coming in and out of that house. telling you that i'm telling you it hasn't been proven one way or the other you said you banged your head on the freaking table I, now i gotta tell them to go check out the table and see if there's any blood or, or any of your they already knew that they had already asked that okay but that's the first i heard of it you see what you see what i'm saying because you never would talk to me you literally just sat here in a conversation and asked me did i kill our child Yes, I did because I, I because if you say no, then I can't. I I'll stop thinking that you did it. Okay. I did think that is dead. That's horrible. I don't know what to think. My the, my son's blood. You're telling me his blood's all over the walls, and now you're telling no, it telling That's me uh, the Mexican guy that had the gun to your head or whatever took him away, and he knows him, and he could be anywhere. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Gun. So so where did you get that? From. That was what that so I, now you got me twisting all your stories up because that was from the first time you told me the rape story that he had a gun to your head and you told me it was he your, your gun. gun. And you he told had me, the black gun. but you first black you told gun. me it was your gun. So that's fine. I'm I'm not debating I the never points said here. My gun. I said the black one. Okay, okay, fine. But I mean, you know. Your heart, I would never hurt I, Yes, I, I absolutely believe that. I, but I'm doing everything I can to help you right now. And if, if you, you it, but, me, but if you Tisha, listen, me, I'll... Tisha, listen. The thing is, if you don't, but it's not just. It, I asked you if you if you killed him. You said no, and I'm sorry. That was a hard question. But if you know anything, or you did anything, or are just upset about it, we can we can work together, and I can help you. But I can't help you if you don't tell me anything. It's just there's so many unknowns, Tisha. Oh my god. I mean, was what did anything happen that was an accident that you just that you're scared about? Really? I'm just trying to Tisha, you know, you know with my army training, I'm trained to do ask all these questions to get us in a safe place, right? And that's why I took the guns out from the get-go. That's just my oh training my kicking god. in. Oh my god, I really thought for like I I thought out of this conversation, like I really thought you were going to be supportive of me. I thought you were going to bring your family back together. I really thought with this one, I really thought out of eight, the 87 phone calls that we had and the 87 different stories I gave you, I really thought that this one was going to be the one that you'd accept. And I really thought that you were going to accept me back into the home and that we were going to go on and just play home again and make up our family. And we were just going to go on living without Gannon because don't forget she was emailing Al and saying that she wants just to have the four of them again, the four of them again. Four. Except with Gannon, it should be five. Al, Letitia, Harley, Gannon, Lena is five. So when she says, I just want all four of us back together. It's a slip that she already knows Gannon is no longer here. 
And Al confronts her on that. Why do you keep in your emails? You said four, four. Why are you saying four? And she's like, no, no, I meant the four of us together so we could go look for Gannon. And let's not even acknowledge that she claims she's pregnant. So really, it should be six. She did, Lisa. She did. And I thought that we were going to talk about everything, every single day of nothing but Gannon. That's what I'm trying to do. I didn't for a second you would ask me, did I kill Gannon? I can't believe that. Well, I'm glad you said no. That that gives me a lot of hope and peace. I love Cannon. I had already told him about how maybe, just maybe, you might have a brother. Maybe. We talked about, we cried about Kobe. We did a lot together. What? what? No, I was never one of us. No, you cried about Kobe. Kobe, not Kobe. Kobe. Brian, you did. You showed more sadness and more emotion for Kobe Bryant's passing than you ever did for Gannon. All throughout those days of you slowly torturing and killing Gannon and you getting rid of his body, you were actively keeping up with the Kobe Bryant crash. And the news and the updates. I don't know how. That's bizarre to me. Another reason of why I would love to have an educated doctor. These Google searches. Don't look at what's circled. All the way at the top. Vanessa Bryant. On the 27th. All the way at the bottom. Um, Kobe Bryant helicopter crash. On the 27th. She was actively searching and keeping up with this crash. She showed more emotion for a damn celebrity, a stranger to her, than she ever did for this precious 11-year-old's life she took her child as she would refer to him as. She never deserved Gannon. Never, ever, she never deserved the honor of calling Gannon her son. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Okay, Tisha, let me ask you this way then. I don't believe you killed him. But did did something bad happen to him, and he maybe maybe he is dead or not with us anymore, and and you just panicked and didn't know what to do? I mean, is there anything like that? Just any information is what I need. I just just I can we can help you. I can help you get through this. But it's I mean, but we got to know the information about Bubba. I mean, just think of I mean. Really, I'll... Yes, I'm just trying to figure out what happened to him. He's gone and nobody knows anything, but you were the last one to hear him speak, okay, you, which was Monday when you were driving around and he left the house. The last time we heard him speak, I, I don't know. I don't know when that was. Before I left, probably. When I left and he went downstairs to watch Pokemon. That's the last memory I have of him. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> People don't have the life that I have. People don't just be a normal person, just doing their thing, finally have what they want to do and be in the sky working. Oh, they don't do that. People premeditate things in life. I'm sorry, just be in the sky working? You were not a flight attendant. You were not going to be a flight attendant. It's her lying that fascinates me. This pathological lying, I have such an interest in it. I, I think that's why also I'm so hooked on it. I cannot stand a liar. That is my pet peeve. I cannot 
fucking stand liars. And so her over the top lying bothers me to the extreme how much she lies. Um, but she lied so effortlessly and she lied about things that she did not need to lie about. And she lied way before her crimes. She lied every day in her marriage. Um, she just always lied. And it, it just, it, it's a second nature to her. But yes, they do. People do live normal lives and then one day snap and do something like this. But I don't think you were living a normal life. I don't think that accurately depicts you or your life. I think you were tormenting that child. There is evidence and history of abuse, but I think it goes so much deeper, more than physical, than we will ever know. And there were many red flags, many, many, many red flags. There's no sign or indications of anything that I would have ever heard those children. Google, I don't like my stepson. Should I get a divorce? I feel like a glorified babysitter. Parenting should be for people, not one. Do you want me to pull up the medical reports of Gannon? Do you want me to pull those up? You know what? Hold on. Because I was shocked when I found this in the case files. I was shocked. I was disgusted on it, if I could be honest. I really was. Hold on. All right, can you guys hear me? All right. Pause that for a split second. There was nothing. There was nothing that indicates that. Gannon's medical reports. Okay. This is his notes from his medical encounters. February 26, seen by Dr. Cowan. This is March 15th, seen by Dr. Burtick for mental health, accompanied to appointment 
with Al and Leticia. During visit, doctor notes that Leticia and Al were upset with each other. And Al requested that Leticia leave so that he could speak with doctor and Gannon alone. Al told the doctor that Leticia directs a lot of her own behavior on Gannon, such as obsessions and anxiety. Al stated that he felt Leticia exploits Gannon emotionally. Al stated that he believes Leticia's affections towards Gannon were fake and stated that he only wanted to protect Gannon from her. Al provided examples of Leticia celebrating when the kids left to visit others and with pictures of them and statements such as, I did not sign up for this. Al stated he had not seen Gannon ever become aggressive despite what Leticia reported and did not feel there was a problem. So do not tell me, and this was March 15th, 2019. Do not tell me there's no sign, there was no indications, there was no red flags. Do not tell me that. Yeah, there was. That was just one out of a hundred I could pull up right now. <sighs> cray cray, I've given my opinion before. I believe that the truth is when your lives do become intertwined, it is hard to separate and it is hard to all of a sudden make the arrangements and um all right now i'm gonna have to figure out you know like do the whole single parent and and he did have uh primary custody at the time and he, you know like now you're not going to be able to pursue your career uh you have to be home you got to be you know and it is a lot and so i think he most and this is just my opinion you know i think he was let me just bust it out for a bit longer until he's in a more stable place with his career not bouncing. That's what I think. I don't think he ever thought his kids were in danger like that. Um, I, I don't, I don't believe that. But I think it's going to be, um, something that he's going to have to live with, but I don't wish this on anybody. I fought for you. I fought for them. Yes, you did. You fought for all of us. You're right. I'm not, I'm not questioning any of that, Tisha. I, I just was, did, did an accident happen? I mean, other than the candle or the burn? I don't know. I'm just trying to ask all the questions. I work with children long enough, Albert. If an accident happened, I'm smart enough. I know what to do. I've had plenty of friends who've been in situations where they've been in the classroom. They accidentally dropped the kid. The kid might have broke their leg. You go to the people and you tell them it's an accident. And you work through it. Okay, so all right, you made a you 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 also said something that was calmed my heart, you know, tremendously about Bubba. That you know, basically, you didn't premeditate anything. So uh, whatever happened to him had to be an accident, just like the candle. And you, I mean, obviously, you didn't you wouldn't plan on something like that because you're a teacher and you do all those babysitting events. I know you wouldn't hurt kids intentionally, but whatever happened was an accident. And I know you didn't plan it. I didn't have anything to do with it. Why are you saying this to me? So, so he, he would have had to have died naturally 
then how does Why it... are you even saying he's dead? I, I, I don't know, Tisha. I can't even believe you are saying that. Get it is a lie. And that's what I think she tortured that, these parents more. Not only did she take Yannin from them and do the most horrific thing, she, listen, all they had was his room, which was filled with blood spatter, cleaned blood spatter, with enough blood that would indicate an 11 year old child would not survive losing this much blood, okay? Now I'm gonna use Al because Al had the majority of communication with, with Letitia, but Al had to really come to terms. His child is most likely not alive. And he's dealing with the person he did trust he shared his bed with her. He took vows with her. You have sex with her. That is your person. Okay? Now, even though all signs point to your child most likely not being alive, you are always as I would imagine, you are always going to want to hold out that hope that he is still out there and he is still okay. So what I think is the cruelest thing she did is not only that you took Ganon and his life, but after you tortured them because you wouldn't even let them get to that acceptance because you dangled it in their face and made them feel like shit forever even trying to believe that he's no longer here. You know what I mean? Like, how dare you? How could you ever say he's not alive? Gannon is alive. Like, she made him feel like shit forever even suggesting he wasn't alive. How could you? What kind of father are you? How dare you? I would never. Gannon is alive. And we see that all throughout her text to him. You're more focused on getting your dick wet than you are looking for your child. How could you? He's alive. He's alive. And so already as a parent, you want to hold on to that hope despite all signs leading to him no longer being here. So for her to fuck with them like that, oh my God. Because you want to believe her. But you can't believe her. She's a fucking liar. And so at the same time, it's almost like the more she's saying it, the more you can't believe it, right? This is what makes her even worse than just even a, a, a typical killer, I think, is what she did after. She is sick. She is sick. She is evil beyond evil. More evil than words could ever describe. What's wrong with you? Because it's just uh, this. None of this makes any sense. I mean, he would have been found by now. Okay, he didn't. The, all the cameras, all that footage shows him not leaving the house other than in the truck. And I just, I, I like I said, I'm just trying to help you get through this. Help me? Yes, help you. Because You're trying to help me get through this. Because, I, yes, I am trying to help you. I want to know what happened to Gannon and try to help you and keep Harley safe in everything that I've said the whole time because that's who I am and you know that. Yep. See what y'all think. 
This is what y'all think. Y'all think somebody's going to come in here and say something just to appease everyone. But a true person who is completely innocent, y'all can keep beating me down in the ground all you want to because I didn't do it. I'm not beating you down. Everything. You don't want me anymore? Fine. You don't want our family anymore? Fine. Oh my God, Tisha. And I'm so sorry, Little Red Riding Hood, for your loss. But I'm, oh my God, Tisha, it is not about you. It is not about you, Tisha. You don't want me anymore? Fine. You don't want our family anymore? Fine. All she cares about is you, me, 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 me. A truly dark person, real John Doe. To the core, to the core, a dark person. She does sound like a balloon letting all the helium out, MK. But this is what I mean. She dangled information about Gannon over his head that we've heard in prior calls. If you And in the text messages, if you want the information, then you have to get our family back together. You literally have to share your bed with me. You have to have our family get back together if you want this information. So you want him to fuck you? You want him to share his bed with you? You want him to pretend and, and put this family back together? And you're holding information on his son? That's what you're saying? I'm sorry. Do you, ever, do, do you really believe that it would ever be real? How pathetic. How sad sick even if he said okay and if he let you back in the home did you think for one second it would ever be real did you for one second he ever would love you or he would just do what he had to do to get his son back you sick twisted fuck oh thank you thistle happy thanksgiving Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, peace, love, and pugs, and welcome. Oh, yes, Carol, she would have done anything. See, what I, I think she was hoping to do was to get into bed with him and to try to legitimately get pregnant. Y'all took my car. Y'all took everything. I didn't take anything. They got all my shit too, Tisha. I I I, I got two cars now because Harley's not gonna pay for it. I got two cars I gotta pay for that I'm I can't even see or touch. Harley has been begging you. No, she hasn't. That I know. Yes, she has. So I, I beg you every day, Albert. Why are you not with your wife? Because you want to be so honest and ask questions. Why are you not with your wife and daughter? Because the truth. Okay, I'm going to tell you the truth right now. Because of this conversation, Tisha, I don't know. And I've told you that the whole time. I'm confused. I'm all over the place. I just can't I can't get the truth from you or the police or nobody. And now, you're, now you know, it's just even worse now because I got another story I've got to try to make a theory from. Wait, another story? This is a, you have never talked to me. But you just told me, you told me a few minutes ago, we had, uh, and we went over it. I, you told me the first story. No, you, first you told me he ran away. Then it was the rape story. Then it was the second rape story. I now it's the believe, third rape I story. I can't believe you just said the rape story. I'm, I, I just, what do you want me to call it? The, the story of Gannon disappearing? Okay, you told me the first version of that, the second version, and now the I third version. I told you a second or third version. Yes. This is the first time you sit down and talk to me. No, that day that I got home. No, the day I got home that next morning after my mom and sister and Landon and everybody had, was at the house, you you told me you were texting Bethel and you told her the story. I don't know what you told her. And I, I kind of don't even. That's you, yes, you do. I don't even care. They, they no. had y'all there. They had y'all there. Had us where? Oh, my God. I can't believe you're lying to me right now. About what? I'm not lying to you about anything, Tisha. Albert. They had y'all at the police department when I was there. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, you mean when when Landon showed up and then they brought, you know, I was already there or whatever? 
Is that what you're talking about? Because that's the only time I know. I don't even know what you're there. I just assumed you had finally come in that night. Or was it the next day you came in? I don't even know, Tisha. Well, you were there because she was talking to you there. Who was? Bethel. She was talking to me at the police station? Yes. I, I, honestly, most of, most of my talking was with uh, Mark, the other guy that was at Starbucks. So I, I don't know what you mean she was talking to me. I think I might have talked to I think I talked to her for like 10 or 15 minutes. I'm, if I'm I did not. Did not tell you anything different. This is how my day went. I was going to lay down. Lay down. Hey, Tisha, 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 I believe you. Okay. I, what I want you to answer for me is those simple questions. Did did anything, did Gannon die and you just freaked out? Or was there an accident involved? Did you kill him? I, answer all those questions. Those are the ones that I want to know. Okay, I don't care about who talked to who, when we went where. That, honestly, at that, this point, well, none you. of that freaking matters. Uh, what matters is that little 11-year-old boy is, is either out there or he's not, and I got to know that. And you're the only one that has any information regarding that. And I gave you that information, and you're not going to look for it. No, but you you didn't, you ignored my question. I, I mean, answer those questions for me. You're not going to look for it. Look for it where? He already said they look through all the footage. There is no footage of anybody coming in and out of the house. And then your great fucking response is, oh, well, what kind of cameras are they? I don't like the cameras. Yeah, it's probably the fucking cameras. Sure. Sure, Tisha. Hey, go. What's the first question? All right. Did you kill Gannon? No. Okay. Did you, did Gannon die on your watch, whether it was an accident or naturally from some injury? No. Okay. Did Gannon have an accident of, of a serious nature and you freak out and cover it up? No. So the answer is to, to no to all of that. Correct. Okay. Now, these, this is going to be very uncomfortable for you, even more uncomfortable than what I just asked you, but... Did Harley kill Gannon? Oh my God, no! Okay, did she? Any of the same questions? Did she have anything to do with an accident, a cover up? Was she involved in this at all with you? No, I haven't been involved either. So I just, but but so something. So there's a blank somewhere that I just you have not filled the blank. So. It's, you, so you don't think for a second that someone came in the house to get it? You don't think that? I don't doubt that. I don't know what to believe, but I'm not doubting you. I'm just having to ask all these questions. So, I mean. <sighs> I begged you. I begged you. I said, hey, let us all be together. Look at me in my eyes and ask me that. I'm sorry. Look at you in your eyes and ask you that. I've begged you to let us be together. What would being in the same home and looking you in your eyes make a difference? How would sharing his bed with you make the answers any different? See, Letitia thought she could manipulate him sexually. And I'll be honest, many girls use sexuality to manipulate men. I'll be honest, you get offended when I say that, but it's true. They do. Not to this extreme. But they can. So she thought, because it's probably worked before with a lot less extreme things, if I could just get in the same room, if I could just appease to his desires and wants, 
and get him vulnerable, it would be much easier to manipulate him than it would be over the fucking phone. The truth is, they were married. So she does know what his... She would know how to appeal to him. I don't know at this level. They seem very disconnected in their marriage. But, like, normally, like, she would, she should, as a wife, be able to know on an intimate level how to appeal. But that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to get him alone in a room and let me get you vulnerable, get you to break down that barrier, get to be intimate with me. But she can't get there if he has that wall up. That question. Feel it in your heart and then ask me that question. What, what, but, but you gotta, you gotta look at it for Letitia. He was. That's the thing, Letitia. He was feeling it in his heart when asking that question. And he knew in his heart almost immediately something wasn't wrong. That's why we saw in the case files him calling Detective Bethel and saying, listen, I didn't say anything initially, but Letitia picked me up from the airport in a rental. And she told me the Tiguan was parked at the school because she didn't want to put miles on it, yet I went to the school and the, and the Tiguan's not there. Something's wrong. And that's what started this whole thing of Al working with them. He did feel it in his heart. And he knows you're lying. From my perspective, okay, first of all, uh, and I got a couple things to say, so let me get through it. These, these stories, just like I've said the whole time, they don't sound legit to me. They just don't add up. They're not true. Something is off from every story because there's different versions. So that's number one. Number two. There's no different versions. I've only talked to you once. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But, I mean, you got to put yourself in my shoes. Okay. What the hell would you do if this was Harley? Okay. And, and you didn't have all the information. How would you put all these pieces together? So, I mean, you got from my glasses, how am I supposed to put all these pieces together when I don't even have a third of the pieces. I'm just trying to fit the piece, find the pieces and fit them together. Question? You want me to answer that question? Which one? The one about, what if it was Harley? Yeah. Yeah, answer that question. Okay, so as soon as you tell me this, when when I get off the phone, I will have my husband and my children together in a home, and our actors will be praying, and we will be on the phone with the detectives, and we will be saying, listen, I support my husband, and we, are need, we need to find someone over here. If somebody had to see something. Ask them again. Do something. We will be putting a fucking alert out everywhere. We will be putting a description out everywhere. We will close the fucking borders from Colorado to all of them, up and down 95, because at least the fucking Mexico. 95? What? what that shit. Why would I'm you? I'm sorry, 85, whatever. 85? What's the road called? 25. It's oh. the interstate, at least in Mexico. Well, you, please be careful when you say those things, because then they're going to start looking up and down 95 on the East Coast. Okay? Okay, sorry. And that's not going to help us. It, I mean, since you know he's not over there, that's not going to help us if they get sent over there. Okay? So, so but, but you didn't answer my question. How am I supposed to put all these pieces together? You're telling me let's go home and pray. And I've been praying my – I've been praying nonstop. Okay? But, there, you know, we got to have action too. So, I, so here I, – listen, i got to go because now I'm, now I'm freaking – Everybody's going to start questioning me at the house. Where have you been? What are you doing? Are you involved? I'm, I'm going to get all those questions now. So, I And this Indian guy's got to be asking for his phone back by now. It's been two hours. 
I, the house, who are you staying with? We, Uncle Jeff and then freaking Veronica and all them that are all over the place. Okay, so. So uh, why would you have to be anywhere near them? I don't have to be, but you saw we had why to do. You listen. Your wife and your daughter. Tisha, listen, I had to do these statements and interviews and all this shit. It's just nonstop. Every day is something else. Okay, so if if you think. If you think all this information is what they need, apparently the, the El Paso people haven't done their job and they haven't forwarded it to the FBI. So I'm, I, I don't know, there's some Amber lady called me from the FBI and I'm going to just email you her number and her name. And if you want to pass this information to her, that's much higher than the freaking CBS I or whatever you call it. to the FBI because they called everyone I know. Okay, well then that's what you can tell them too. Okay, I but I don't have the document you have. So I, anyways, I'm just going to send you the contact, and if you want it, you take it. If not, I can't make you do anything. But I got to go, okay? Okay, but that's not how you would say trying to find your son. You would not say, if you don't want to do anything, then blah, blah, blah. No, that's not true because I can't. You said. I, I wanted you with me the whole time, and you left. So I'm going to give you the information you need to pass your stuff along, Albert, and then Albert, you can do that, okay? Albert, listen to me. We don't have anywhere to stay. I'm asking you to stay with your wife and daughter and let's do this together. Now you tell me no if you think that you don't give a shit about us and you don't want that. You tell me no right now. Tell you or no. You tell me, or you tell me yes. If you want your family together because you believe I me. I wanted my family no, together. Listen to me. Stop. Listen to me. I wanted my family together the whole time. And listen, I... You're not letting me help you, so I recommend that you get in talk, co contact with this Amber lady because she offered me help and safety because I told her what I was going through. And she, I, I'm sure they'll do the same thing for you, especially all that you've been through with the – you're telling me about the social media stuff and people chasing you around, you said in the email. So I'm going to send you her contact information, okay, and then you decide whether or not to contact her to, to find protection for yourself and get them this information, okay? But I got to go, okay? But Wait. I gotta go, Tisha. I gotta go. So you're not gonna answer the question. What you're question? I said. I said I wanted you to be together, but I gotta go. Okay. I gotta okay, go. Wait. Bye. Bye. So that was that call, <laughs> but wait. Because I don't blame him because he can't, he's trying to get all the information he can. So he can't just say, no, fuck you, you know, but he also can't say, yeah, come home. So he has to kind of like leave it like in that in between. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Um, but I, I told you all she, she wants to hang over his head information about Gannon to try to let him, to try to get him to get their family back together if you let me come back home if you share your bed with me if we go back to pretending everything is fine then i'll help you you are sick she is a, you cannot get as more sick than her she is as sick as they come for real um <laughs> it's crazy so that was that phone call um so as you guys know, my Thanksgiving is canceled. Um, so I'm going to come on and I'm going to do a Thanksgiving gobble gobble episode tomorrow night. I don't know. I don't see. I don't know if I should do really good, like really like pick out juicy stuff for tomorrow because it's like a Halloween, a Halloween, a Thanksgiving special or, oh no, it's Thanksgiving. So not as many people are going to be around. So don't do as good stuff. I don't know. Like do really good stuff or don't, don't do all the really good stuff tomorrow because it's Thanksgiving and not everyone will be here. I don't know which one to do yet. Which one? <laughs> I guess I could figure it out. Maybe like a little, like, I don't know. I'll figure it out. It depends on like, who's going to be here, but I'll schedule it a little bit later. So hopefully, no, I'm definitely doing Letitia stuff. It's just a matter of like, did I want to do like, oh, I'm going to find really good stuff to do. But, uh, do drier than tomorrow. <laughs> Either way, 
I appreciate you all being so much. Uh, oh my God, I can't talk. I'm starting to get really tired. I appreciate you all being here with me so much. Thank you uh, for anybody who had sent super chats towards the turkey legs and gifted memberships. You guys are awesome. Um, you guys mean so much to me. I will be on tomorrow evening for a very special gobble gobble turkey Letitia live. If you could hit the thumbs up on your way out. Um, and I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving with your families. If I don't see you, appreciate what you have. Hold your loved ones. Give them a kiss. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you all tomorrow. But if not, just enjoy your Thanksgiving. And um, I will talk to you all soon. So have a great night.